destroyed everything. All right, guys, we're back in Code Combat, Backwoods Forest, and we are on Rich Forager. Let's go ahead and jump for in real win. quick. For the win. Yeah, for the win. All right. <laughs> Code Combat. Whew. All right. Uh, so uh, the idea here is to basically just kill and uh, collect coins. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. So we are here, and they they kind of it's nice that they kind of set this up so each level doesn't take forever. Um, Uh, so what happens when I find a flag? Uh, so what happens when I find a flag? Uh, we want to move our hero, or excuse me, um, we want to pick up, hero dot pick up the flag, and then if there's an enemy, we want to attack the enemy, and if there's an item, what do we do for items? We get find nearest item. Which is here to move. So if an item exists, which I already said here, we want to move our hero. Dot move. I want to move them over to um, item dot dot x and item dot pos dot y. And let's go ahead and submit this to see if everything's working. So basically. <coughs> We want this guy, or this girl, rather. So I didn't do like the best job. We want him to go ahead and attack. We probably should have set up a cleave or two, just to uh, speed things along. We're gonna work our way over here. Check out these dudes real quick. It's got auto on here for the wall loop. Let's continue move on. It's lagging a little bit, so I saw, I'm sorry if that's affecting you guys. Affecting the video. I'm not quite sure what's going on. But Anyhow, we're almost there. Move into the final kill zone here. Collect all the coins. And in the nick of time, finish. Nice. So pretty straightforward. And finally, the Siege of Stonehold. So apparently this is the last one. It has a little, probably a, probably a harder one. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. So we need to defeat the ogre assault. Our hero must survive. Uh, use strategies, mix cleaver code and clever flags. So where are we? Oh, we're right here. Okay. So, uh... Remember, uh, they're not starting us off with anything, so we'll say wall. Wall true. Because what we want is basically to just have a wall loop. And we're going to have our enemy is equal to uh, find hero dot find nearest enemy. Uh, so we're going to look to see if there is an enemy and we're say if enemy if enemy do some stuff basically attack the enemy so if there is an enemy and if is uh, ready what is it is ready let's look at cleave again so remember cleave we want to go ahead and use this because it sounds like it's going to be pretty big battle so it is ready and we're going to throw a cleave in here as well make sure to use our special move uh we'll just say uh hero dot cleave i don't really else uh 
a hero dot attack. Anyway. Uh, let's see what happens when we do that. Obey, Captain. But is Comia's purpose. I just submit it, because this I feel like this might take a while. Guys, talking some shit. Uh, we're gonna let it play through in case. I let's skip. This take forever. Ing of the ing is print by. But it's dead. Oh, maybe we have to actually play it through. Oh, you know what? We should probably um. King of the Ing is print files. Alright, there we go. Uh, I feel like waiting through it. Cool! So that was the last little bit of. Uh, granted, there's more levels and everything, but that was the last little bit of uh, Backwoods Forest. Moving on forward, we'll be doing Sarvin Desert. So, I hope you guys found this video helpful. We're going to do the basic minimum to get to here, I guess, or wherever the end of it is here, and uh, move on to the next area. But, uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share, and support me on patreon.com slash 360 and look forward to our weekly interviews behind the code where we talk with developers in a podcast style and talk, gain their knowledge in various things. This last one we did PHP in 2017. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. If you're interested in a coding boot camp, why don't you check them out where they include housing alongside their tuition so you can get up, go, and immerse yourself in the environment. If you want to support me, go over to patreon.com slash codingtutorials360 so we can put out more content. Thanks for watching.